Hey y'all, hope everyone is doing well this week. We've been going through 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Left off last week about halfway through the chapter. I hope and pray that you pull your Bibles out and follow along with us this day. And we're going to slow things down a little bit. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 at verse uh, 6 in talking about love. It says that love does not rejoice in iniquity but rejoices in the truth. The purpose of the spiritual gifts was the revelation of the truth and the confirmation of truth. But then in verse 7 it says concerning love that love bears all things. And that's what we're going to talk about today. That love bears all things. I usually don't like talking about uh, Greek words or Hebrew words uh, during these short studies we have. But, but that word for bears... Um, that word, the Greek word, the root word, actually appears in Mark chapter 2. And I wanted you to see how it, to see how it is being used. As it says that love bears all things, because I think it helps us better understand what's being spoken about. In Mark chapter 2, at verse 4, and we won't read the whole account, but it's the account of the paralytic man who was brought to Jesus. It says, and when they could not, it says, and when they could not come near him because of the crowd... They uncovered the roof where he was, so when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. If I told you that the root, root word for bearing actually appears in that verse, what word would you guess it was? And the word it actually is, is the word roof. It's the same root word that appears as a verb in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, that love bears all things. It's the word for covering, that, that, it, that it covers. And I want for us to, I would like for us to consider that. So come up to 1 Peter now. Come up to 1 Peter. Because I think what is being spoken about, perhaps, in 1 Peter chapter 4, at verse 7, it says, But the end of all things is at hand, therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers, and above all things, have fervent love for one another, for love will cover a multitude of sins. Now, a lot of times when people will read that verse, they have the idea that, that love will ignore a multitude of sins, or that love will overlook a multitude of sins. And I don't think that's what's going on here. That, frankly, is an unscriptural idea, that love does not ignore sin that I think what is being talked about when it says that love will cover a multitude of sins, I think it is the same idea, the idea of covering sin. I think it is the same idea that is spoken about in the book of Galatians. In the book of Galatians, and I know we're turning to a few more passages, uh, a little, little more than usual, but bear with me. In Galatians chapter 6, at verse 1, I think the, the same idea in 1 Peter 4, I think the idea in 1 Peter 4 is this idea in Galatians 6. At verse 1, Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself, lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. What's the burden they're being spoken about? You know, is, is it helping someone move? It, it, you know, what's, what's the burden being spoken about in context? The context is, as we are our brother's keeper, as it, it is the restoration process. Namely, if your brother sins, you go. And as you talk to him, um, you who are spiritual, restore such one in a spirit of gentleness and bear one another's burdens. Love covers a multitude of sins, and love bears all things. I think the idea, the idea of bearing all things, of covering, as that is literally the word, it is the idea, the, the burden that we bear of our brethren, of one another, is the burden of forgiveness. That we understand that perhaps our brethren have sinned against us. And we've sinned against them, and, in that, and they bear our burden as well. We bear their burden, they bear our burden. Namely, we confess our sins one to another, and we pray for one another that one another may be healed. And, and the burden that we bear is that we understand that while they may have hurt us, while they may have cut us deeply, while they may have, they, they may have been problematic and have maybe we've had strife with one another, 
but in, in the restoration process and going to them and talking to them and, and trying to restore them and in their repentance, love bears all things. The Corinthians, as they were going to grow, and, and, and that, that congregation had so many problems and there was a lot of strife and division amongst them as there were a lot of proud folks. Well, as those brethren started confessing their sins one to another, going to their brothers and sisters and, and saying, please forgive me, I have sinned before your eyes and I have sinned before God's eyes. I need you all's forgiveness. I need God's forgiveness so that we can once again be reconciled. The burden that they were going to have to bear of one another, as love bears all things, they were going to have to bear one another's forgiveness. And when you love your brethren in Christ, when you love your brothers and sisters in Christ, you are more than happy to bear that burden. Yes, you understand, maybe they've hurt you in times past, but that's behind now. That's behind you now. And you bear that, you bear that burden. You take that yoke upon you. You've learned from Jesus. You've learned from Jesus, and because you have a spiritual mind, as it says there in Galatians 6, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness. You remember what the Corinthians' problem was? They weren't too spiritual at this time. They were still carnal. So if they were going to be spiritual, what did that involve? Bearing one another's burdens in forgiveness. And I think that is perhaps what is being spoken about here in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love bears all things. It bears all things. Anyway, something, something to think about. You can study on it further. If you have any comments or any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on website, Facebook, all those good things. I hope everyone has a good week. God bless you. Thank you for studying with us today.